My name is Luke Gannon and uh, this is uh, Tom O'Dwyer and Alex and Clusty. Uh, we go to St. Cairns College in County Kilkenny. The title of our project is an investigation into the effectiveness of planting in linseed and oat habitats on Wexford farms on the declining farmland bird populations. When first year uh, we actually discovered that Alex had uh, started this our EPS scheme, which is what it was what called in 2014, um, they had this thing called the Set Aside Protection Plan, and that's where they set aside a fallow piece of land, and it was to try and introduce a habitat for wild birds. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't very successful because it didn't have a food source and it didn't have proper cover. So then in uh, mid-2015, uh, the GLOSS scheme came, and GLOSS stands for uh, Green Low Carbon Agri-Environmental Scheme. And the section we investigated was the wild bird cover section of the scheme. And this encourages farmers with lucrative incentives to uh, plant linseed and oat habitats on their farms, and they get paid 900 euros uh, a hectare per year to do so. Every Saturday uh, for the last four years we went to the farm in Wexford and sometimes to the farm in Alex's house and we would have to bring a dog in order to get the ground dwelling birds to lift so we could count the numbers. So it was a very, very tedious process. We'd usually spend around two hours there trying to count the different birds and in a year we'd probably see uh, 500 to 800 birds on, in this one field. We want to bring to the attention of the Department of Agriculture and that it is only increasing the common farmland bird populations and the likes of the grey partridge or the red grouse aren't increasing. It's actually described as a natural disaster by Alex Copeland of um, Birdwatch Ireland and we want to advise them to almost bring more species specific programs so the likes of maybe special areas that they can be in like they do with the tigers in Africa so they can actually repopulate together without any threats and then be let off into the wild to try and bring their populations up again. We want to tell them that the GLOSS scheme is good, it is working, but it's not working to its full potential and something does need to be done or else the likes of the grey partridge and the red grouse will become extinct like the corn bunting already has become.